think now we're quite confident that seizure forecasting is possible in a statistically meaningful way. So we can do this better than chance. But it's not clear yet what the level of accuracy is that we would actually need eventually to be useful for patients and clinicians. So I think we need to improve these methods and do more research to become better and better to make this useful. And I, I see sort of a few pathways in that regard. One um, thing that we saw also in our data is that these algorithms get better and better the more data they are trained upon. So if we have a larger data set, we can potentially improve this algorithm further. Secondly, we could uh, include other data modalities in this. So we only use the data from the wristband, but we know that also seizures um, occur in certain cycles where they are, uh, the risk is higher and lower over days. So we could include this information potentially along with other information to improve it further. And third, I think we can also improve on the AI and the artificial, in, artificial intelligence to uh, develop even better methods and approaches to uh, increase performance. We're looking into this and we're uh, expanding our data in that direction, uh, as I said, and we're also improving, uh, seeing how we can improve the artificial intelligence. And the last point uh, that will also be extremely relevant that I alluded to earlier will be to really see what is then the accuracy level that we need to be useful for patients. So we need to talk to patients. We need to see how useful is that really to them? What coarseness, what granularity of information do they need? And similarly, what information do clinicians need to adapt their treatments? So that is the third point we need to address.